All right, well, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It has been quite a while since I've done these pre-recorded, focused, 10 to 20 minute topical videos. So welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be talking about HEX versus BTC, the journey to 1000X. Now, I'm not necessarily talking about a journey that's to come, but rather, and you know, I'm not um, uh, denying that it can happen as well. However, what we're actually focusing on in this video is the 1000X that HEX has already done versus BTC, show you the historical price structure, all of the significant moves, including where are we now relative to the past. So let's just get right into it. Let me share my screen with you. So what you're seeing now is actually the HEX versus BTC chart. So this is HEX's valuation in terms of BTC or Satoshis or whatever unit you want to denominate in. So as you can see where this price chart begins is around the six Satoshi level. There's a wick here and this is about uh, December 2019, right? This is launch era, launch month for HEX. So six Satoshis all the way down to one Satoshi and believe it or not, HEX actually went sub Satoshi. That was a funny time. People started bringing up the term Ethoshi, which is, um, in theory, you'd be looking at GUI, right? The units of ETH, but don't want to get off track here. We went basically to one Satoshi and then I believe about half a Satoshi, but you lose some resolution uh, in this chart because the BTC is worth $30,000 per unit right now. And back then it was also in the thousands. So you lose some resolution here when comparing HEX versus BTC. But what can we see here? Well, we saw HEX have its you know, it's famous bottom. It dipped and bottomed out and reached that um, point where you could where you could have bought, I think it was like 20,000 coins per dollar, which is absolutely insane. Hence uh, your 10,000 X in USD terms. So what can we see here is, well, we had our dip, we had our bottom, we had our subsequent rally back to the five, six Satoshi region, formed this sort of price structure, cup and handle, I guess you could call it. And then it was off to the races. <laughs> so I just hit auto on on um, on this chart real quick, and it showed you pretty much what happened after this uh, initial launch region in early 2020. So we went from just the single digit Satoshi level to this rally up here to the nine Satoshi, 10 Satoshi. And then from there, it was absolute takeoff in April of 2020. We popped off when the Fed started the money printer at that point free money everywhere. We went from the 10 Satoshi region all the way up to about, let me make sure I get this right, all the way to about the 70 Satoshi region, almost. All right, this is when Hex uh, reached about half a penny for the first time in history. It was huge. Uh, everyone was marketing Hex as, oh, it did its first 100X versus USD. It had at that point, right? Um, and, and you can kind of, you can kind of see that from the fact that we went from one Satoshi to 70 Satoshi, right? That's about a 70 X versus BTC. And that's not counting for the sub Satoshi region. So, and for those of you who don't know, I probably should have clarified at the beginning of, a, of the video is that one Satoshi is equal to one BTC, one Bitcoin divided by 100 million. So that is the smallest unit of a Bitcoin. So back to the chart, we went to around 70 Satoshis and that, my friends, 2020, the summer of 2020, DeFi summer was when Hex started forming proper, you know, a proper price structure that it would it would respect for months and arguably years to come. And we'll get to where we are now shortly. But we had our, our 70 Satoshi top and found a bottom around the 20 Satoshi level, rallied before big payday all the way up to 106 Satoshis, then had our crazy dip back down to the 12, 13 Satoshi region, ended up finding a nice bottom around this 14 uh, Satoshi region, right? So first around 20 and then around 17 and then around, you know, 15. So that 15 to 20 Satoshi region turned out to be our market structure for pretty much a large portion of 2020 and 2021. And I give a little, a little preview right there. You can see what happened after. This region right here is when I started making YouTube videos on crypto around April of 2021. And I actually have a chart 
uh, in a previous video, which I can link down below, of Hex versus BTC. I've done this video before. I've done it versus ETH, and I've done it versus BTC. And ironically enough, we're starting to make these kind of videos again when we're in a similar region. But again, we'll get to that. So that 1415 Satoshi region, I started making YouTube videos on Hex around here once we popped off to the 30-ish Satoshi region. And then from there, guys, um, from there, guys, that's that's what she wrote. <laughs> we, we rallied off of that for the rest of 2021 summer. We broke our previous all-time highs versus USD, ETH, and BTC. And you can see that here. When we broke the 100 Satoshi region, hit 160, had a little bull flag. And this was when the whole Pulse Chain hype started hitting the scene as well. Uh, when Pulse Chain became um, not only an idea, but a you know something that was more or less uh, likely to happen, right? Richard started talking about it on stream, and it became a whole thing. And this was the Pulse Chain sacrifice phase around, actually, that was over here. I uh, don't want to get too much off track, but let's see. We went to the 100 Satoshis, and we just kept rallying, right? Pulse Chain hype, 200 Satoshis, and uh, you all know what happened, and... Uh, <laughs> it kept going, right? 500 Satoshis, big dip. And we did have these uh, these huge dips, to be fair. Like after 570, we went all the way down to 250, so a little 50% dip. You know, that's not bad compared to the dips we've seen in this, this recent bear market. 80, 90, 95, 99% dips. But hey, you know what? These were good times. We went from 500 to 250 and then ended up uh, bringing in our top around the 1,000 Satoshi region in September of 2021. So that concludes the bull journey, you guys. We went from just a few sats all the way down to one Satoshi to sub one Satoshi. And then we had our crazy journey with market structure, with uh, rallies and dips all the way to September 2021 of 1,000 Satoshis. So there, my friends, is your historical 1,000x of hex versus BTC. And this is not to be confused with the ROI chart on looking the hex, right? Our um, ROI from launch, rather. This, you can see here, is hex versus BTC when you normalize both to their initial launch periods and start them both at one and then put them against a race as if they had launched on the same day, right? That's kind of the concept that this chart attempts to encapsulate, the ROI from launch chart. So it's not to be confused with what I'm talking about in this video, the hex BTC valuation, which is real time hex price divided by BTC price. Whereas this ROI from launches is, is offset in time uh, to give us some nice, um, you know, some nice theoretical data. So back to our charts, hex versus BTC. After a thousand Satoshis, you know, we had, we had our little um, second wind right here up to 1100 Satoshis, some bearish divergence that put in the cyclical top. And from there, it was uh, it's just it's been down from there, guys. Down at 200 satoshis, little rally up to 500, back to 700, and then we've just had a full-on bear market with lower highs and lower lows. So our recent high was around the what was our recent high around, you guys? Around the 400 satoshi region back in March of this year. So even even now, we've seen some crazy rallies, right? But after Pulse Chain launched, we had our dip, 200 Satoshis, 180, 50, 60, 40, 30, 20. Right now, Hex is at 16 Satoshis. So what does that mean? I mean, it's up to interpretation, right? Everything in this video on this channel is for informational and um, informational purposes only. Um, excuse me. Wow. Wow, I really butchered that. Everything on this channel is for entertainment purposes only. None of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I hold no relevant licenses and any gains or losses you incur are purely you and your own responsibility. So back to the chart, guys, we're at 16 Satoshis now. What does that mean? Well, relative to historical valuations of HEX versus BTC, we are at this region. Remember when we talked about in 2020 and early 2021, right? The DeFi summer and that whole period of time, we formed this market structure, this base around the 15 to 20 Satoshi region. And another thing that's interesting is we saw pretty good bullish divergence 
before each little rally here we had right a bullish divergence around that region boom pop off little bullish divergence around that 15 to 20 satoshi region pop off before each each rally now i mean you could argue we're on different circumstances we're not in a um you know quantitative easing environment and crypto's already seen its bear market there's a lot of sec slash regulatory uh fud and uncertainty and risk uh right fear uncertainty doubt in the markets and um you know pull chain is live so that's arguably diluted the value and the economic energy of the community amongst multiple projects multiple coins multiple chains and here we are right so um we're still seeing bullish divergence nonetheless right forming over the course of uh, a few months here pretty much all summer with this uh with these lower lows right 40 sats 27 sats we're at 16 15 sats and to be fair these these bullish divergences can be invalidated so it's not necessarily saying that we're going to rally i'm just saying historically speaking we've seen this 15 to 20 satoshi region act as a proper base it's proper market structure and we're down we're down bad from the top right from our september 21 top i mean even from our recent march 2023 top we were at 400 plus satoshi guys now we're at 16 satoshis so you know there's take everything with a grain of salt take all these charts uh, as you will pull them up yourself and interpret them as you will charts.cointrader.pro is a really good site because it actually still shows historical price action from december 2019 up to now there's only this chart and a few others that this site and a few others that actually show the full historical chart uh from when hex existed on uniswap v1 and v2 and v3 right v1 was the earliest days but this is where we are now where we are now guys so you know could we see another thousand x rally that's not for me to say that's up to the mark to decide um but nonetheless we've seen that hex can stand its own and overperform these these giants right overperform eth overperform btc you could argue it's a function of, of lower liquidity and therefore higher uh, uh volatility potential you could argue it's the community it's the tech it's in reality, it could be all of these things. But that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. Thanks so much for watching. What do you think Hex can do versus BTC uh, in this upcoming cycle? Do you think the bottom is in? Do you think we'll, we'll rally off of this 13 to 15, 16 Satoshi region up to new highs? Or will we just hit another lower high relative to this 400 or 300 Satoshi region, right? Because, I mean, even if we did form a lower high, you guys, we could. there's still room to play. Plenty of room to play. Like, there's still a good 20x um, uh, difference from – I'll get you guys an actual number. Let's see what the difference is from where we are now to our previous high, right? It's about a 29x, almost a 30x uh, difference. Pretty crazy. Even if we just hit this wake up here – 18 19 20x difference even if we formed a lower high it could be up to you know 13 14x and this is just math you guys right like even if you don't think this is the bottom you can't deny that we see relief rallies all the time even in bear markets and i mean look it's not too crazy or out of the picture to think we could go to the 300 satoshi region given that is acted as support in the past and as you guys all know support often becomes resistance and vice versa so to give you guys a little yellow line here you can see it was the top of june 2021 it was the bottom of august 2021 it was the bottom of november 2021 and december of 2021 it was the bottom of march 2022 the top of may 2022 the top of august 2022 arguably some resistance and support here in 2023 that 270 satoshi level so i mean it's crazy to think and crazy to say that even if we just have another lower high another relief rally that hex could still do like what um what did we say that was like a 10 to 20x absolutely insane so yeah i'm curious what you guys think 
Hex is going to do next versus BTC um, versus ETH versus USD. Is this the bottom? Do you expect a, a lower high? Do you expect new highs? Is, you know, the Fed finally reached its terminal rate? So are we going to finally start printing money again soon? Powell seems to be of the, um, the notion that not this year, right? But <laughs> um, they haven't always given us the best data in the past, right? Anyways, don't want to rant too long. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe if you're new. We're kicking the channel back off again with these focused 10 to 20 minute videos. Um, this has been Hex versus BTC, your 1000x journey. Catch you guys in the next one.